Aquazestin is a Mohawk community that straddles the U.S.-Canada border in upstate New York. We are Ganyakahaga, which means people of the Flint and are part of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy. We have an estimated 13,000 people, and we struggle with some of the same health issues as other Native people, such as diabetes, heart disease, substance abuse, and others. We have brought back the traditional passage rites for our youth, which is improving the well-being of the youth and our community. A community mobilized with one focus, and that's our kids, is so amazing. A logo is a rite of passage for the youth. To, it starts when them, they go into puberty and it helps like transform them from like a child to a young man or a young woman. Through four years of um, instruction, experience, and uh, ultimately um, a fast that um, helps our young people uh, find themselves, find their own courage, find their own confidence. Made me realize that I was stronger and that I was capable of doing better things than what I was doing. I think that we don't have enough resources that deal with the emotional needs of our young people and I think that's a gap in services. The adolescents and young adults need their identities, they need their names, they need to know who they are and why they're in the world. I didn't grow up with my culture, I was raised in the church and I never really agreed with it so when I joined Ojo Logo I seen that as an opportunity to uh, learn about my culture. I don't think that you can separate the biological from the behavioral health. I think it's all linked together. Why do we smoke? Why do we drink? Why do we overeat? You know, you can't just talk about a disease process. You have to talk about what happened in their life that led to that. And how could that have been prevented? That's what I think needs to be addressed and recognized. I think better attention needs to be paid to the um, research possibility of keeping track of our clinic charts and what the findings are so that we can see the changing shift in the uh, patterns of disease over time, even over generations, because your generation is functionally different than mine. Some of the things that I learned when I was in Ojologo that really stood out to me that the kids are learning now is um, sexual health that like you don't get from health class in like your high school. Like healthy foods and healthy eating and gardening and being able to like sustain yourself. So when the moms prepare meals um, every week there's constant discussion about what those meals should consist of and trying to use our own ceremonial foods often. It's the social connections, and we experience that in all kinds of ways. That's what our ceremonies reinforce, our dances. That's the relevance of culture to health and well-being. I mean, the evidence is a growing body. There's no question that culture is where it's at. benefits that I've seen is that it's brought a lot of my family closer to our traditional ways. We have a community partnership fund here that has money set aside to help support Ojo Logo. It's becoming part of the everyday culture. The unmet need is that connection first to oneself and then in healthy relationship to one another because healing is about the capacity to give and receive love. Sit by yourself. Be alone with yourself and see how you like yourself without all the gadgets. I've learned more about myself. When I started, I, my self-esteem like wasn't where it should be and it kind of helped me uh, bring balance to my life. I didn't know my worth. When I was out there, it kind of just hit me and I like hit me really hard and it hit me in a place where that's what made me change.